but let's see what we got. Yeah. So, going to be starting off game number one. They're going to be starting off on Town and City. Bit of an interesting stage choice. Uh, going to be taking P Pichu to Town and City. <laughs> I, I feel I feel like uh, we're going to be seeing that come into play. Like, some edge guards off the side plats uh, is going to be happening uh, at some point. Wait, wait, wait. So, that's Twitter. Is this Edge? <gasps> oh, bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. See you later. Sayonara. Is, so, is, is this actually our thing? Yeah, that is, that is our thing, yeah. Oh, that's, oh wow, okay. <laughs> okay, right on. So uh, I guess, yeah, our fangs here in the city for school. Uh, I'm not sure how often they uh, attend the weekly, but that's a massive stock. <laughs> Obliterated off of the side at 30% on Please Rob. Please tell me this doesn't kill. Uh, uh, okay, uh, that's uh, I'm uh, actually uh, going through the 34. Uh, Maybe that's like a once a set thing, and then you'll never get hit by it again. This is already looking pretty bleak for Dill. Look how confident he is with that uh, ledge trap as well. Just sitting there with gold distance, ready to cover Dill's next immediate option. She needs to watch out for those jumps from the corner. Yeah, you just saw our, how well our thing was doing like pre quarantine, especially that a lot of majors. So uh, it's really admirable to see these people sticking to Pichu. Oh, tries to cover the neutral air dodge, but Dill was able to get away fast enough, able to attack that amazing awareness on her behalf, and what a tech oh, chase. Oh, what a situation right there. Just the extra thunder for the extra damage, and just like, just uh, our thing feeling himself in this one. There's spaghetti. Wow, I mean, this is this is looking good. He's so bleak, Fudo. Um, I feel like he's just doing a really good job of finding these ends, and also he just has like such a good understanding of like what <laughs> options are safe and which options are. Yeah. Like, okay. Flexing those parries and amazing DI there, perfect DI for the Rob up there. Uh, Town of City maybe assisting a little bit, but now this is looking brutal. Uh, could be potentially a three stock. The, okay. 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 Oh, Fang wanted to go for it all. He's not going to be able to fight it quite yet. Dill just really needs anything oh. to be able to close out the snow. Oh. Whoa, the bread and butters, the combos that we don't really get to see with it, especially the T-Jolt extensions and the down air to down air. Oh. Whoa, 119% extra credit. What, what a trade. Yeah, Dill is having so much fun with this. She's kind of getting tossed a little bit. Um, uh, chase. Oh, more parries as well, man. Our fang, uh, sorry, Spaghetti playing so excellently today. Oh, <laughs> that's him jumping right into it, um, but still going to be able to get there before Pikachu's up smash. Yeah, trying to take advantage of that landing that we kind of saw earlier with that Zamba was kind of doing against Dill. So, yeah, trying to get another call out yet again. And uh, staying at bay is Dill. Dill trying to just, like, honestly, with this rage, can definitely get a good read on this Pichu. Dill just can't seem to find any ends, and also other thing just has like such a good idea of how she wants to be approaching. Is that up yeah. there gonna kill? It is Pichu, and also this is Rob. Any stocks could happen. A good side be off stage, and who knows? It still wins this. I will lose my mind. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you, knew what you, you knew exactly what you were doing too by saying that. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I know you're about to win this side. I know you want to clean this one up. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like put it out there just so I can embarrass myself uh, again. I don't know what this commentary juju is, but like even Devin's been noticing it. Like I just been just ruining everybody's life by just talking about literally anything. So I'm just gonna stop talking, and then you can just solo cast this. I don't know. Actually, <laughs> that's like a little bit too much power because you could like sway the course of a set. Just like make the opposite happen. If you said that time, oh, I think Dill uh, is gonna be losing here. She's <laughs> gonna be taking the spike. She's gonna make some sort of an insane <laughs> comeback. So uh, it'll, it'll be some weird situation where Dill gets knocked into the stage, texts it, and then spikes backwards or something. But yeah, no, this has been a really fun tournament to watch. We're here in top six here at Xeno 209 here in the heart of New York, man. This is a beautiful... Uh, I, I love being here for Smash. I've, I don't think I've ever been here for Smash. And just seeing like the level of competition here, just absolutely exciting. So, uh, yeah, Spaghetti up 1-0, uh, formerly Arfang. And then, uh, yeah, we, we've seen how good our thing can be, especially at specific majors. So, Dill has a lot of work to do if she wants to win this set. Yeah, this time I'm going to be taking this small battlefield, maybe. I, I, I don't see what a different stage is going to do that particularly different for her, but she just needs to play keep away and f make it as difficult as possible for Pikachu to, to get in. That's just going to be the, the name of the game, just playing keep away. Well, I definitely think these blast ones are going to help a little bit, so we just don't get a situation where that first stock did the thunder and just blew up Dill's first stock immediately. But still, regardless, an amazing combo starter here from Spaghetti, doing an amazing 54% and counting. Yeah, also, wow. That down B going to be setting Dill to the right side. Not going to close it out quite uh, yet, but that back heel definitely will. Dill already just like struggling so much this game. Other thing has just been completely in control of the pace. He gets two neutral wins and takes the stock.
Oh, did you almost forget how small Pichu is, and it's just like, I'm just kind of like laughing, like looking at the renders at the bottom of the screen, like, you got Rob's head, you got Pichu's entire body, but here we are, the combo <gasps> starters are continuing the, the flow. The platform extension lightning oh, loops? Oh, 90% off an opening, that's what I'm talking about. Rob's big body against these combo starter characters like Falco, like Pichu, that absolutely obliterate Rob. So, I believe out of Pichu's own lightning loops, you can SDI it, especially because it has an electric effect on it, which means it has a hit lag multiplier and in turn an SDI multiplier of 1.5. Um, so you, you do definitely some gaps in there that you can try to get out of. But Dill is just struggling to be able to get back onto the stage. Ooh, great grab. Recognizing that she doesn't have enough time for like an aggressive option, but just catching his next one. Oh, wow. The down smash, or sorry, not the down smash. The side B is going to do with the multi-hit. And now we got two stocks to two. A little bit better than the last game. And again, we saw what Rage Rob could do, especially with that up here on the second stock of the Town and City game. But uh, let's see. Oh, that, wow. finally finding that up smash they were looking for before. This is tough. I don't even know like what she should be doing better because it seems like with one misplay she's just taking so much damage. I, I like the attempt in, at, but but other thing was just like patient, like going through like the timing mix up at ledge. Oh man. Yeah. Oh buddy. Oh very greedy get up attack. Even more greedy thunder into the spike attempt. Wow. A spaghetti's trying to end it all right here in losers quarters. Yeah, Dill finally getting up a bit of, bit of momentum for himself, trying to get the two-frame at the ledge. And once again, I think I feel like he's just always waiting for the next uh, ledge option. That time, able to uh, so to bait out the neutral getup, and that side B is going to be able to kill. And now, honestly, she's kind of in it. Yeah, so I'm going to be on a set right here. The last stock, Pichu definitely has the self-damage thing going against him. Uh, so let's see what we got going on here. Oh, the back, you're going to catch that. Yeah, the parry's on point from Spaghetti. Yeah, and again, I just feel like he's been getting away with this so often as Dill, she just keeps on landing on top of his shield, especially from the corner. Oh, oh, oh no. It. Wow. Yep, one, uh, I guess, telegraph recovery is too many. We saw that recovery happen a lot, so that's going to be a 2-0 victory. So getting moving on to top four, uh, waiting for a little bit because I think we got two more sets before we can catch up to that, uh, the loser's topic. But here we are seeing a couple of replays going on, and then, yeah, the air dodge, it was ill-advised, and that's Dill falling at fifth yep. place tonight. Honestly, I feel like Oh Fang just showed off like a master class of how you want to be cornering Rob and just like covering a lot of his ledge options. Um, I feel like Dill, she was just not, she wasn't able to get gyro from ledge. She wasn't able to get drop down, double jump, neutral from the ledge. She wasn't able to get high low mix ups just because of, you know, Pichu being able to, you know, cover a lot of space with down B as well. Um, I really like this just. Our thing just stayed at the same exact spot every single time he ledge trapped. He was just like at goal distance. He was in a place where he can react to neutral, get up with maybe like a dash grab. He could catch jumps uh, by spacing a forwarder really, really well. And he was always catching Dill's jump ins. So as Dill, I feel like she would need to get really creative with a lot of her options to try to escape that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, if I could just like put a one word to that set, I think I would say it would be suffocation. Like it, it was totally the entire set was spaghetti yeah. playing at Pichu's pace. Like Pichu controlled the pacing and didn't allow any breathing room for Dill. So I mean, honestly, you could see it in both of the games. It's just uh, the Pichu show. Yeah. How do you get off of Legend?